uh, just went through the unpacking. I tried to make a video of the unpacking. It didn't work, so I won't bore you guys with the details. This is Amelia Roberts' uh, uh, machine. That was her uh, father's that he bought in Italy, and she has some sentimental value to this. And her, her boyfriend, as a gift, has uh, volunteered to pay for the cost of uh, bringing this machine back to life because of the sentimental value. He bought the machine in Italy and then brought it back to the States. So uh, the packing was really, really well done. The, uh, they took off the uh, lever, which I, to follow my recommendations, they took off the lever, they packed all these parts, all the drip tray and uh, port filter and the like all separately. Uh, the machine was very well packed. Um, uh, it had bubble wrap around everything, and then it had a secondary box inside, and it had bubble wrap on the outside. There's no damage in this, this machine in shipping. Usually what happens is this uh, steam wand assembly here, where it connects to the boiler, gets punched in. Uh, it looks like it may have, sometime along the line, it had a little bit here. We may be able to bring that back out. We'll see. Um, but it's uh, really in, in good, good enough shape to leave it the way it is. Uh, there looks like there's rust on the group head. There's not. This is brass. This part's brass. This part's brass. This part's steel. Uh, and everything's chromed. And so the steel parts here um, have lots of rust on it. I did pop off the base, which is a metal base, which I don't see uh, don't see often or see at all. Uh, these are, you know, this one has not been uh, fastened in, but we'll try to fix everything up. Asbestos. Not, not a big deal. Uh, you squirt it with water, uh, you put on a mask, you put it under, under the faucet, and then you scrape it off to make sure that no fibers are airborne. The airborne fibers is what gives the problem. Uh, and so we get rid of that, no problem. And so there shouldn't um, be anything there. The cord is in bad shape. We might be able just to shorten the cord, stick it back inside, and reuse this cord. Otherwise, the plug looks fine. Um, you know, it's got some paint on it, like that. We can clean it off. The bottom side, uh, there was some rusted, and and her father tried to uh, paint it on the inside. Um, it has the old brass screw on the element, so we'll check it. This has got a new switch in. The old switch is here. It's really in bad shape. It uh, didn't even work. They put in a new green switch, replaced the old red one. The red one's no longer available. Um, pressure stat. I've never seen this style before. We'll see if it works. Hopefully it will. Uh, we may need to put a new base on. Uh, I had one similar shape uh, and I just cleaned it up and was able to reuse it and paint this part inside here. We'll have to see what they want to do. The uh, pressure gauge is busted so we'll have to uh, re uh, replace that. The steam wand actually, you know, assembly here uh, it actually works well. We'll probably have to bend this out a little bit. It looks like it got bent in in shipment. Looking inside the boiler, there is some, you can't see it here, uh, but there is some uh, mineral buildup inside, uh, which isn't really bad at all, which we can clean up. Um, the side glass looks like it's in good condition. Uh, I love the old black um, logos. I, I like the red ones too because I put one on my machine. Um, obviously we we'll need a whole new set of gaskets um, to make sure nothing's leaking. You know the boiler, this is a great boiler cap. This is a brass insert here on the boiler cap. Uh, port, you know, obviously a port of filter hasn't been cleaned forever. We'll put this in some nice uh, detergent and clean up all the coffee residue, but it can be reused uh, unless they want to get a, a bottomless. Yeah, three baskets uh, looks like, I don't, usually there's just two. Um, they're both, looks like there may be two 16 millimeters and then, or doubles, uh, 16 uh, gram baskets and then one single basket. Uh, drip tray looks fine, you know. It is a professional model, so you can see that the insert actually on here uh, fits around the boiler. Um, we ch I checked out uh, the handle, the lever here. You, this could be replaced if a person wanted to. Uh, this again is brass, so all this rust should be able to clean off. It's, the rust has come from the bolts and the, and the pins, which will replace the stainless steel. 
um, and clean this up that actually should be in fine shape. And uh, I think that's kind of it. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is to fire up the, put water in it, fire up the boiler, just to see how it works. And then I'll start, we'll start talking about what parts need to be replaced. So it looks like a fun project. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> 